What's going on guys? Welcome back to another New World Guide. Now, oh look at this guy. He wants to show us his cool uniform. Um, so, I wanted to show you guys what's been selling for me recently in the last couple of weeks and I've been where I've been making most of my gold. Now we did a video about this a while ago and you guys seem to like it. So these are the top five things that I've been selling in the last one to two weeks that have been making me a lot of gold in New World. Now at the moment I have 64,000 gold. I did have a lot more, but I've been buying quite a lot of stuff recently. Um, so I do know how to make gold in New World. That's pretty much my main purpose and what I do every single time I play. So let's go into the trading post and I will show you kind of the things I've been selling recently to make gold. So the first one I've been selling a lot of, and I recently just did a video actually yesterday about this. You can check that out if you wanna know where I get my chunk of Adderstone. But chunk of Adderstone is selling for around about 200 gold right now. It was selling for 600 yesterday. Uh, it actually goes up and down quite a lot. For some reason, chunks of Adderstone can sometimes range from 100 gold on my server. And then the next day it could be 600 gold. So maybe someone comes and buys all these orders up. I'm not too sure. But this is um, probably the one that's making me the most gold right now is chunks of Adderstone. So it really depends on your server. But you get chunks of Adderstone from Lodestone, from mining Lodestone. Now the next one that I've been making a lot of gold with, and this is uh, Orichalcum, uh, Orichalcum Arrows. Now these are selling at the moment on my server for 10 cents. It's actually quite low. So usually these are selling for around about 20 cents, but the trick is with these. Now the reason I'm selling these is because I'm trying to level up my engineering. So if you, you know, only, I would only recommend selling these if you're gonna get like 20 cents, 26 cents or 30 cents. This is quite low right now. But what you wanna do is you wanna find out the times of when the wars or any like fighting is happening or any PVP quest, and you wanna go and load up some or a calcum arrows. Now, the reason why you want to do this is what I do is even though it's 10 cents, so I actually just sold some recently. Um, let me have a look here. So I sold some for 20 cents, sold some for 20 here, sold some for 20 here, 20 here, 20 here. Uh, the reason is, is because it doesn't even matter what price it is. I always put it up for like 20, 30, because what happens is when there's a fight going on or a war, people come and buy all the small orders and they keep going and they keep buying up all the rest, okay? So I put them on for whatever price I want. The problem is people expect things to sell straight away, but with these arrows, you can put them on for whatever you want. It doesn't really actually matter because when there's a war on, all of these orders get chewed up very, very quickly. So you wanna put it on maybe an hour, before there's a war or maybe at peak time when there's some PVP quests on, you can definitely make some good money with these types of arrows and also the um, cartridges. But I do find I make way more gold with doing the um, actual arrows. But these are actually a pretty good price. So maybe you want to go and sell these instead, depending on your server. Now, Sliver of, of Adderstone is another good one that I've been making a lot of gold with right now. So it did tank on my server two weeks ago when they did the update, but it has gone up again. Now, it ranges usually from 200 to around about 100. It really just depends. For some reason, yesterday it was for sale for like 500 gold and I made a lot of gold yesterday. Um, but right now it's around about 140, which is pretty good because I can go and get, um, I'm actually selling some now. So this is my order here, 199 and 169. But I can go and get the Slither of Atherstone for like, I can get four or five of them within, 10 minutes right so this is a good price right now i'm going to actually put some more up for sale after doing this video but slither of Adderstone is what i've been selling recently as well i've been making a lot of gold with this now the next one i've been making a lot of gold with guys and i would recommend you do this because it is blowing up right now is orichalcum ore the reason why this is blowing up so literally an hour ago on my server, this was 0.2 cents. Now it's 0.25 cents. There's an update that's coming out soon, apparently, where orichalcum can be used to um, make other rare items, okay, like cinnabar and stuff. So I would highly recommend that you could go and mine this right now as much as you possibly can, because this is going to be worth quite a bit of gold in the future because people can actually use this in the future to create legendary materials. There's gonna be a limit per day, but it doesn't matter. This is going up. I really wish I'd bought some an hour ago. I didn't even realize, um, but it was selling for 0.3 cents. If I'd have bought it all up, I would have made like 25X my money right now, or my gold. 
So auricalcum ore is a really good one that you should be selling right now. I haven't specifically been selling this myself, but the reason I put it in is because this is a good one to sell in the future. All right, guys, the last one that I've been actually selling quite a bit of recently as well, and this might seem a bit strange, is star metal tools. So your axes, your pickaxes, and all that sort of stuff. Now, the reason is, is because it's actually, the, there's not many people making them because they think that you can't make money with them anymore. Well, there's still new people coming into the game. I don't sell a lot of these, but I do, I do put them up. And, you know, if I can go and get the resources and sell for like 100 gold, I'm going to try and do that. And in fact, these will probably get chewed up pretty quickly. So I'll be able to sell for around about 300 soon. Um, but I've been selling these within a couple of hours. So Star Metal Tools, I know it seems strange and you're like, well, no one's buying them. And not a lot of people are buying them. But every now and then, I can go and um, buy these, uh, sell these star metal tools because there are some new players coming into the game. Now you're not going to make tons of gold doing this, but if you're trying to level up your engineering and stuff like that, this could be a potentially good um, item to sell in New World. All right, guys. So that's the five best items that I've been selling recently in New World. But don't forget to subscribe, tap that notification bell, smash that like button, and I'll see you in the new vi next video.